Paul, should we look at Fiverr first? This is an interesting company. Paul, why don't we look at what's going on with Fiverr? What is the market cap for this puppy? All right, my, is my screen shared? Yeah, go ahead. All right, well, look at this first off, the chart. I mean, it was in the market downturn. It was at $23 a share. Now it's, it got as high as 223. That's 10 times more in a matter of eight months. A $6.8 billion company. It was 680 million just eight, nine months ago. No P, big X there, not a shock. New company, I thought it would be a money loser to start. It lost 14 million in the last year. So it has a negative profit margin. So two X's to start. But look at this gross profit stuff, 83% gross profit. That's pretty high. Wow, okay, pillar number three is revenue growth. Paul, we wanna see that revenue growing over the past five years, baby. Well, they don't, they don't have five years of history. They have three years. We have 52 million to 107. And in the last 12 months, we've gone 163. So it's growing quite fast. That's a definite big check mark there. How about profit and growth, Paul, pillar number four? Profit growth is an X here um, because it lost 19 million and then lost 33.54 million um, in the last full year. But let's see the last 12 months, it has only lost 14 million. So you can make the argument it's a check, but we'll still keep it as an X just because we're trying to stay consistent. Okay, how about pillar number five, Paul's shares outstanding. Folks, we want this number going down. Now, I don't know if you see it, but 25.6 down to 20.5 million shares. So that's a check mark there. Are you surprised they're buying shares back already, Paul? I, you know, for, for such a big jump that quickly, I don't know what they did, but well, I mean, yeah, that is kind of surprising. Who knows what happened? All right, how about a pillar number six is current assets greater than current liabilities, Paul? All right, 311, 312 million in current assets liabilities. Now here's the good news. Total current liabilities, 126, all liabilities, 130. So they have enough money by far to pay off all their debts completely, not just the current ones. This is what we love to see. It is hard for companies to go under when they do that. So um, you'd subtract $200 million off their market cap, which isn't much because they have 6.5 billion. So whatever. Okay. How about uh, pillar number seven, which is free cash flow growth. Did they have a dividend, Paul? I didn't even look. They don't have a dividend. They okay, keep going. Free cash flow okay, growth. Their free, past five cash flow, their free cash flow went from a negative eight and a half to a negative 15.6. So that's a, an X. And there is no cash flow. There is no free cash flow. So another X for the price of free cash flow. Guys, you know what I'm going to say to this one. This one's a hard one. I mean, price to sales of 40 to one. I'm avoiding this at all costs. I let them grow. Let them be big. Let the stock go to 2000. I know it sounds crazy. I'd rather, I'd rather the stock go to 2000 and it be worth 2,500 and me buy it then, than, than ride it from here to 2000. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying into this one right now. Guys, we're currently talking about Fiverr. We're going over the eight pillar analysis. They have no PE ratio. Their profit margin is under 10%. They do have revenue growth. They do not have profit growth. They are buying back shares and they have great assets over liabilities, current assets over liabilities, but without that free cash flow and the price to free cash flow, our last two pillars, Paul, this is basically a hype stock, right? I mean, this is just like uh, yes. really based I mean, it's on- up 10 times, It's up 10 times in eight months. I mean, there's only so much you can do with that. You know what I mean? This would be the opposite of buying uh, buying low and selling high. This would be buying high at this moment. So it's a bit hard no on Fiverr. Yep.